Cordylobia anthropopaga, the mango fly, tumbu fly, tumba fly, pusey fly or skin maggot fly is a species of blow fly common in East and Central Africa. It is a parasite of large mammals during its larval stage. C. anthropopaga has been endemic in the subtropics of Africa for more than 135 years and is a common cause of meiosis in humans in the region. Its specific epithet anthropopaga derives from the Greek word anthropopagos, human eater. The mode of infection by the kale worm. Doctors Rodhain and Bequert conclude, from their observations in the Congo Free State, that Cordylobia anthropopaga lays its eggs on the ground. The larvae, known generally as kale worms, crawl over the soil until they come in contact with man or a mammal, penetrate the skin and lie in the subcutaneous tissue, causing the formation of tumors. On reaching full growth, the larvae leave the host, fall to the ground, bury themselves in their pupate. This fly is said to be the most common cause of human or animal meiosis in tropical Africa, from Senegal to Natal. In the region of Lower Katanga where these investigations were made, Dogs appeared to be the principal hosts, although Cordylobia larvae were found also in guinea pigs, a monkey and two white men. The larvae are always localized on those parts of the hosts which come in immediate contact with the soil. Summary translation in Entomological News 1911 Vol XXII, 467 History of discovery, the larvae of the tumbu fly, Cordylobia anthropopaga, were first described in Senegal in 1862, and Blanchard first described the adult and gave it its name in 1893. In 1903, Grumbert placed the tumbu fly in a new genus, Cordylobia. Life cycle, female tumbu flies deposit 100 to 300 eggs in sandy soil often contaminated with animal feces. The hatched larvae can remain viable in the soil for 9 a euro 15 days until they need to find a host for development. If a larva finds a host, it will penetrate the skin and take 8 a euro 12 days developing through three larval stages before it reaches the prepupal stage. It will then leave the host, drop to the ground, bury itself, and pupate. It then becomes an adult fly able to reproduce and begin the cycle all over again. Clinical presentation in humans, successful penetrations in humans will result in furuncular meiosis, typically on the backs of arms or about the waist, lower back, or buttocks. C. anthropopaga rarely causes severe problems, and mainly causes cutaneous meiosis. Geary L. Describe the presentation of cutaneous meiosis caused by the tumbu fly, at the site of penetration, a red papule forms and gradually enlarges. At first the host may experience only intermittent, slight itching, but pain develops and increases in frequency and intensity as the lesions develop into a furunnel. The furunnel's aperture opens, permitting fluids containing blood and waste products of the maggot to drain. Transmission Female tumbu flies lay their eggs in soil contaminated with feces or urine or on damp clothing or bared linens. Damp clothing hanging to dry makes for a perfect spot. The larvae hatch into a euro three days and attach to unbroken skin and penetrate the skin, producing swelling. If the larvae hatch in soil, any disturbance of the soil causes them to wriggle to the surface to penetrate the skin of the host. Reservoir and vector A natural reservoir is defined as an organism that can harbor a pathogen indefinitely with no ill effects. Although C. anthropopaga larvae can cause ill effects for animal hosts, because we are talking about meiosis in humans, we will consider any animal hosts as reservoirs. Many animals are hosts of C. anthropopaga. The dog is the most common domestic host and several species of wild rats are the preferred field hosts. Domestic fowl are dead-end hosts, meaning that the larvae cannot develop when they enter the tissue of a fowl. Humans are in fact accidental hosts, which means that tumbu fly larvae do not usually infect humans. We as a species are not necessary for the transmission cycle of the fly. A vector is an organism that carries the parasites from one host to another. The tumbu fly itself is the vector in a loose sense, because the female deposits the eggs in soil or on damp cloth, where the larvae can hatch and attach to human or animal skin. Diagnostics Cutaneous meiosis caused by the tumbu fly should be suspected when a patient who has just spent time in Africa presents with ulcers or boil like sores. 
definitive diagnosis is only possible when the larvae are found. They should be removed and allowed to develop into adult flies for identification purposes. Treatment When Cordylobia anthropopaga causes cutaneous meiosis, the larvae more often than not can be removed without any incision. Covering the punctum with petroleum jelly or similar substances cuts off the air supply and forces the maggot to the surface, where it is easy to capture with forceps. If this does not work, local anesthetic can be administered and an incision made to widen the punctum and remove the maggot. Another treatment discussed in the March 2014 Journal of the American Medical Association is to inject a combination of anesthetic and epinephrine into the insect's chamber. Less drastically, because larvae of Cordylobia anthropopaga have smaller hooked bristles on the cuticle than those of, say, Dermatobia hominis, it often is practical just to push on each side of the hole to squeeze the maggot out, especially after first enlarging the punctum. As it is the most obvious remedy, Laymen often resort to squeezing out a maggot when professional attention is not conveniently accessible. At all events, whichever means are employed, it is important not to burst the larva, because of the risk of granulomatous or serious inflammatory reaction. Patients should be monitored for additional and subsequent lesions, as development does not occur in unison and some larvae may take longer to reach the prepupal stage. Antiseptics or antibiotics may be useful to prevent bacterial infection after removal of the larvae, but in practice are not often necessary. The secretions of the larva tend to discourage bacterial growth. As a rule the wound may be expected to heal readily. Epidemiology, C. anthropopaga is the most common cause of meiosis in Africa. The tumbu fly is endemic to the tropical regions of Africa, south of the Sahara Desert. Meiosis caused by C. anthropopaga is the most common cause of meiosis in Africa but can be seen worldwide because of air travel, as human movements carry infestation outside endemic areas. Public health and prevention strategies The fly commonly infects humans by laying its eggs on wet clothes, left out to dry. The eggs hatch in one to three days and the larvae then burrow into the skin when the clothes are warm. A prevention method is to iron all clothes, including underwear which will kill the eggs larvae. See also, Dermatobia hominis, references.